Hi students, I want to show you the basics of how to log in to my big campus. Uh, so first we need to get to this login screen. Um, there is a quick link button on our school homepage that you can use. There's also a button on our Symbaloo, which should be the homepage that you get when you bring up any browser in your computer. So just look for the um, orange My Big Campus logo and click on that and it should bring you right here. Now to log in, you need to use the same username and password that you use to get into your computer at school. Should be your last name, first initial, and your student ID number. Uh, we do have a few variations to that, but um, those people usually know who they are. The hardest part is making sure you get your school in here. So yours probably looks like this. Um, and you need to start typing the name of your school. Um, I'm district-wide, so mine is Southwest Park, but you're going to start typing Rosedale Elementary, Montezuma Elementary, Riverton Park. It will start generating the list. You might have to type in the whole name of your school before you see the right one. So make sure you're checking the city and state and you're selecting the correct school. Um, if you don't, your login will not work, so make sure you do that. This Remember Me box, um, it's usually advisable to leave that unchecked because you are responsible for what happens on your computer. If you leave yourself logged in um, and somebody gets on your computer and posts a bunch of mean stuff on My Big Campus under your name, you will be the one to get in trouble. So very important that you learn how to protect your accounts and part of that is making sure that you log off when you are not using it. So I'm going to click Log In. Okay, um, once you're in, uh, a couple quick things that I just want to point out. This red box up here with the number one, um, these are my notifications. And when you log into My Big Campus, you just always want to click on that because this is alerting you to activity that has happened. Maybe your teacher has posted an announcement or your principal has or somebody has sent you a message or given you schoolwork. Uh, if you let this number keep climbing higher and higher, um, it means you're not checking it and it means you might have missed something important that you should have paid attention to. You will also notice that some of these things in here have um, a blue link and that would be a shortcut that you could take to get right to that information. Um, so the notifications are really helpful. One last thing I want to mention on this video is this activity box that says what's happening. Um, I find that a lot of students will use this box sometimes to try to ask their teachers questions. The problem is your teacher will probably never see it if you post something here. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how to send a message to your teacher or to um, participate in a class discussion. Uh, I want to show you that in another video. I just, in this video, wanted to point out to you that this is probably not the right place to do that. Now, under here, if you see something that your teacher has posted, if you reply to it underneath that, that would be okay. They will receive that information. But this box here at the top is really just like a status update on Facebook. If you have any questions um, about logging in to My Big Campus, please make sure that you um, to ask your teacher, and if your teacher doesn't know, they can ask that question to me. Thank you.